So today, Donald Trump pledged to help a terminally ill British baby named Charlie Gard shortly after the infant story went viral. The baby boy has grabbed international attention as his parents fight to keep him on life support despite a chronic genetic condition that leaves him zero chance of survival. British courts ruled that with no realistic hope of a positive outcome, Charlie Gard's life support should be withdrawn. Permission to appeal must be refused. One of the hardest things for me was when we actually got the appeal papers. It says Connie Yates and Chris Gard versus Great Ormond Street Hospital and Charlie Gard. And that broke my heart because they've, we're not his mum and dad anymore. They've got parental responsibility. Charlie's mitochondrial DNA doesn't replenish itself like it should, starving cells in his kidney, muscles, and brain. Brain damage sets in at an early age, and the disease is typically fatal in infancy or early childhood. But now, Charlie's parents are holding on to the hope of an experimental treatment here in the U.S. So, of course, Trump tweeted that he would love to help the Guard family obtain the experimental treatment, saying, if we could help little Charlie Guard, as per our friends in the U.K. and the Pope, we would be delighted to do so. Hmm. That's funny, because Trump Care actually wants to leave 23 million Americans uninsured by 2026, including adults and children. So why is our president so willing to fight for Charlie's life, but not the millions of lives he swore to take care of? Everybody's going to be taken care of much better than they're taken care of now. If Trump care passes, maternity benefits required by Obamacare will be cut, along with mental health benefits, addiction and recovery treatment, pediatric dental benefits, and more. Massive cuts to Medicaid and Planned Parenthood will add to the burdens faced by women who need reproductive care and services. You see, Charlie Gard being rescued by President Trump may tug at the heartstrings now, but millions of vulnerable Americans with chronic or pre-existing conditions may not be so lucky in the future. I'm Valeria Sistrunk, and for all the latest updates on politics and more, visit content.news.